The siblings of our autistic children. It's obviously not intentional, but we don't seem to speak about the siblings of our autistic kids that often. My name is Nanette, thank you for joining today. I studied to be a teacher. I've been in the field of special needs and particularly autism for the past 15 years. And I've also got three kids myself. I make weekly videos on topics related to autism and especially pay attention to functional, practical strategies that are easy to implement in the home environment and in everyday life. So if you want more free strategies and if you would like to have us share some of these free videos with you, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss the weekly easy to implement strategies that we love to share with you. So today's topic, the siblings of an autistic child. It's something we don't speak about that often, but over the years of working with many different families and also families who have more than one child, we have noticed the need to be speaking about our siblings of an autistic child as well. Are there any implications for the siblings of our kids and how can we support them in everyday life as well? So there are three things that we have singled out that we want to share with you that's really going to help you support your other children dealing with siblings and everyday life, it can get really busy, it does get really busy. And all children have certain needs that got to be met, have certain challenges at times, at school, at sport, and they've got different challenges of their own, as any child has. So if you have a child who has been diagnosed with autism spectrum condition in this case, it does tend to happen, and it's also not intentional, but often an autistic child requires a lot of attention, requires a lot of support. For siblings, it can feel like you are paying way more attention to your autistic child. Not because you love the siblings less or you care about them less. One of your children perhaps need more support than others. It's just what needs to be done. So how can you make sure that you are paying special attention to the siblings of your autistic child, your other children too. And we've got these three things that we want to share with you that's going to help you make a positive difference for your other kids too. So the first one, special mom or dad time. And we understand that everyone is busy and we don't have lots of spare time every day. But if you can take five or ten minutes perhaps, but even if it's a short amount of time, and just dedicate those few minutes to another sibling and give each of the other siblings a special mom or dad time. If this means just having a chat while having a hot chocolate together or going for a short walk, even if it's just five minutes, or even while getting ready for school in the morning, just taking a little bit of time having breakfast together, reading a story before bedtime, just that special mom or dad time. And for that time, you are just focused on that particular child, a sibling of the autistic child. And for those two to three or five or 10 minutes, your child knows that he or she is the most important thing right now. They know you love them, but still, this is a, a practical way of showing them, proving to them, just reminding them again that they are special and you care about them just as much. Then also special sibling time is the second one. Special sibling time can be tricky to navigate at times, but you need to find out and you need to do what works for your family. So perhaps there's a game or a toy or an activity that you can do with the siblings together and help them to interact and have some fun together. That's really all that it's about. It's not particularly about learning during that special sibling time, but having fun together, just growing that bond, which is so important between siblings. Another fun activity that you can do for siblings and with them is to make a little special sibling book. Each sibling can make their own even, or you can make it together. And in this book, you can add different things that you like or love or appreciate of your siblings. So do it with one child or do it all together and focus on one child at a time and think of different things that you appreciate. And I mean, the siblings need to start thinking about these things, adding it to the book, taking photos, uh, making silly faces, printing it and pasting it in the book, creating that special sibling bond, which is so important. And then the third one, 
understanding special needs. If your child, the sibling of your autistic child, is at an age or a developmental level where you feel that they are able to understand some form of special needs, or autism in this case, you can start to explain in a way that they would understand and appreciate why there are certain needs and challenges for their sibling and why you are perhaps putting certain strategies in place to support the sibling so that they also develop an understanding of why things are the way they are or why things get done in the way that they do get done. Just helping them to create that and develop that understanding. A general understanding and appreciation for the fact that we are all different. Having said that, we have a course, it's a free course, and it's aimed at younger children, so I would say primary school age. And the topic of the course is my brother or sister is autistic. And if you have a child, a sibling of an autistic child, I would suggest that you go and follow that link. It will be in the comment section below and have your child go and watch that video. It's very short. There's no homework or assignments involved and it's free. Have them go and watch that video just to give them a, a little bit of an understanding of how and why everyone is different and how we can support each other in these environments and with our differences and also even appreciate our differences. Follow the link in the comment section below and then also I'm working on putting together another course especially aimed at or part of it aimed at siblings of an autistic child. So I want to know from you what age group do you feel need support with understanding their autistic sibling? If you have a child or perhaps you just come across children who you feel need more support or need some training for lack of a better word to understand their sibling or their friend or their family member better let me know in the comment section below what age group perhaps you want to say preschool age primary school or high school so that i can start working on that course putting that together for you to help your child in everyday life remember to like this video and if you have found that this has been supportive for you consider sharing it with other families too so that we can continue to support the greater community out there